Hello again, boys and girls. Does this book look familiar to you? It should. We read it yesterday. This time when we read for Pete's sake, we are going to be looking for things that are the same and different between Pete and the flamingos. All right, For Pete's Sake by Ellen Stoll Walsh. This story continues to be an animal fantasy, which means that it is fake, it is false, it is fiction. And the characters are the people or the animals in the story. In this story, we have Pete and we have Pete's friends. Again, I want for you to listen for things that are the same and different. Also, look at the pictures. You can use your eyes to tell about things that are the same and different as well. I'm green, said Pete. I want to be pink. Everyone else is. Don't worry, said the others. You probably aren't ripe yet. It takes longer for some. Is that true? Pete wondered. Probably, they said. Let's play in the sand. Oh no, cried Pete. I have four feet. No one else has four feet. You're lucky, Pete, said the others. Two and two extra. Come on, let's go waiting. Pete tried to feel lucky. Before long, he was having fun. Stop, said the others laughing. You're getting our feathers wet. Uh-oh, Pete didn't have any feathers. The best feathers take the longest to grow, they said. Hurry, it's getting late. The others hurried home. But poor green featherless Pete poked along on his four feet very, very slowly. Nothing could cheer him up. Then one day, some strangers stopped by on their way to the swamp. Flamingos who looked just like Pete. Pete almost popped with joy. I'm different, but the same, he told the others. Well, for Pete's sake, Pete, they said, you always have been. All right, so I want for you to go back into the story and find some things that are the same and things that are different. Try that now, draw a picture of it, and let's talk a little bit about it. 